Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this grade 11 chemistry tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a titration calculation. So stay tuned. So in this question, we have hydrochloric acid and a solution of kettle scale remover, and it's being titrated with a standardized solution of barium hydroxide. Now, barium hydroxide has a known concentration right here of 0.974 moles per liter. Now, the color change of bromothine blue indicator, which is what we're using, is from blue to green at the endpoint. So we need to calculate the concentration of that hydrochloric acid in the kettle scale remover. All right, so this is what the setup would look like. Right? You'd have some sort of flask where you've pre prepared already in this case, exactly 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And then in here, this is called our burette, where we can slowly release our barium hydroxide into the hydrochloric acid to form a neutralization reaction. So the neutralization reaction we're going to get is going to be barium hydroxide, BaOH2, which is aqueous, plus our hydrochloric acid, HCl, which is also aqueous. And it's a neutralization reaction. So what we get is an ionic compound, in this case, barium chloride. And water. So before we move forward, let's balance this equation. So here we have one barium and one barium. And here we have two chlorine and just one here. So we're going to put a two here. And then in our reactants, we have a total of two and two hydrogens. That's four hydrogen and only two in our product. So we're going to put a two there. All right, so now we've got our balanced chemical equation. Now what we want to do is to slowly add barium hydroxide into the hydrochloric acid until the bromothymol blue indicator, which is also in there, turns green. Right when it turns green, it'll be at a pH of 7. That's the goal. We want to neutralize the reaction to get a pH of 7. And you can see in our first trial, uh, we added a total amount of 15 milliliters. You can calculate that by just comparing um, the initial burette reading, which might have been, say, here, and the final burette reading, which would be down here, and see how much you actually use. So you subtract these two numbers, we threw in 15 milliliters, and we did it pretty quickly, right? And we went too far, right? So our indicator went past green into blue, which shows that uh, it's now uh, a base. So we've neutralized this too far. It has a pH greater than 7. But that's okay, because our first trial is basically to see about how much barium hydroxide we need to put in before that happens. So we're going to ignore this first trial, but it does give us a good benchmark for where we need to go to. So since 15 milliliters was too much, what we can do then is we can quickly add maybe 12 or 13 milliliters. Then once we've added 12 or 13 milliliters, then we very, very slowly add a little bit more, a little bit more until you just get that green pH before it becomes blue. That's when you've neutralized it. And you can see in trials 2, 3, and 4, if you compare your burette readings, you get 13.7 milliliters, 13.7 milliliters, and 13.6 milliliters. So it was done three times, and you can see they're all fairly close. And what you want to do in science is you want to take the average. When you take the average keeping to uh, significant digits, we get a volume of barium hydroxide that we added to be 13.7 milliliters. Now we know the volume of hydrochloric acid that was originally placed in the flask. It was 10 milliliters. And we also know the concentration of barium hydroxide. It's a known concentration that we used to find the unknown concentration of hydrochloric acid. So it is 0 0.974 
moles per liter. All right, so this is the information we need to do our calculation to figure out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. So first we're going to look at the number of moles of barium hydroxide, and we're going to use that using our equation for concentration, which is moles per volume. So rearranging this for the number of moles, we get concentration times volume, and for barium hydroxide, that's what I'm working with, concentration is 0 0.974 moles per liter times our volume, which you want to convert into liters. So divide by 1,000, you get 0 0.0137 liters. So our liters cancel, and we end up with 0 0.0133 moles of barium hydroxide. So now we, what we want to do is to do some stoichiometry. So we're comparing our mole ratios between barium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, which is a 1 to 2 ratio. So a 1 to 2 ratio. And that's going to equal the number of moles of barium hydroxide, which is 0 0.0133 moles of barium hydroxide divided by the number of moles, let's just call it x, for hydrochloric acid. So if we cross multiply, then we get x, or the number of moles of hydrochloric acid, is equal to 2 times 0.133, or 0 0.0266 moles of hydrochloric acid. Finally, now that we know the number of moles of hydrochloric acid, and we know the volume of hydrochloric acid, we can go back and use our concentration equation, or C equals N over V, to figure out the concentration of that hydrochloric acid. So N is 0 0.0266 moles, and our volume, again, convert it into liters, so that would be 0 0.01 liters, and we get a concentration of hydrochloric acid to be 2.66 moles per liter. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and if you want to see more high school chemistry, physics, or math videos, please subscribe.